Hello, debt traders! You are watching Financial News from InstaForex TV with me, Marina Generalova. Yesterday, the news from the US did not correspond to the festive mood before Thanksgiving Day. The statistics turned out to be rather feeble. Consumer spending in October grew twice slower than the forecast. So, Americans spent just 0.2% more than in the previous months. We should bear in mind that consumer spending accounts for almost two-thirds of the US GDP. A number of initial unemployment benefit claims is the main gauge of layoffs. Instead of the expected decline, the print of unemployment insurance claims exceeded 300,000 for the first time in the latest 10 weeks. Last week, the unemployment agency recorded 313,000 Americans. A day earlier, the Consumer Confidence Report from the Conference Board showed that respondents lowered their assessment of employment situation in November. Such disappointing data could indicate the sluggish labor market after several months of steady growth. An expected increase of durable goods orders by 0.4% stands out against the gloomy picture. Analysts predicted a drop in orders. Demand for military aircraft surged 45%. However, excluding the automotive industry and defense sector, the number of durable orders sank. So even this strong print did not provide the US dollar with support. After the publication, the euro-dollar pair maintained the momentum overcome at the level of 1.2490. Meanwhile, citing the source in the ECB, Dow Jones Newswires reported that the regulator is ready to launch the quantitative easing program in the first quarter next year, in case the adopted measures do not bring results. The news was released almost at the same time with the U.S. statistics. However, judging by traders' response, this scenario had been already input in quotes. You were watching financial news on InstaForex TV. Bye and have a great day!